Are you planning to use a VPS and you want to use CentOS as your system? Well, on this video, I have you covered. I'm going to show you how to get around and install the WordPress site with it. So don't be worried, I'll show you step by step. Let's head on over there. The system that we're going to use is Hostinger and they're our sponsor for this video. Let me show you really quickly their VPS plans so you can see if it's the right fit for you. You can choose from the VPS hosting right here and they have several plans available. Depending on the needs for your VPS, you can select the one that you want. For example, the things that vary are the RAM, disk space, and the bandwidth. They all have the dedicated IP, which is a plus, and full root access, so you have full control of your system. Once you're ready to go and you selected the one that you want, for example, in this case, I'll select the VPS. There we go. And to save the most is by paying 48 months. If you want to save less, you can select less months here. Obviously, the price goes up month to month. And there's an additional discount with the coupon code SASMASTER, which I'll be leaving in the description so you can use it. Once you apply it, you're going to see there's an update on the pricing. Go ahead and update this, and the pricing is just reducted. So take advantage of that. And if you don't want to go through all the BPS process, and if you want something more simple, you're not ready for a BPS, do consider the shared hosting, which is right here, web hosting. It's cheaper and it's easier to use. Obviously, the BPS, more powerful and full root access. Okay, let's get started with our tutorial, how to install CentOS on the Hostinger BPS plan. So I have a brand new BPS plan and what I'm going to do is hit setup. This is what you're going to encounter when you get started on Hostinger. Let's start now. The first thing that it's going to ask me is select the BPS. This is really important that you select the BPS location as the location where your most, most frequent clients, users, or fans are going to visit your website. So that means it's going to be nearest to them. So if it's in the Netherlands, Singapore, Lutania, United Kingdom, etc., select the one that you need. In this case, I'll choose United States. Let's go ahead and continue. And then I can use the panel that I want to install. So in this case, OS with control. Let's go ahead and select this one. And by default, it's selected CentOS. Let me show you if you want to use another one. I want to choose a different control panel, and there's several ones of these available. But for this case, I am going to select this one, CentOS, because that's what I'm going to show you how to use. Let's go ahead, click Continue. Let's write a password here. Let's continue. There we go. Let's add a name to this. There we go. We set up a name. Let's add a root password, and we'll skip the add SSH key. Let's go ahead and continue. There we go, we're good to go. We can check these if we're good to go with this with, with this one. For example, the location, the operating system, the host name, we can change all of that again. But in this case, we're finished and we wanted to start the setup. So this is the initial setup. We have to wait a bit. It'll take a few minutes for this and we'll get back. And here we go. And this is where we're going to manage our system OS. Now, this is where you have the overall information, the IP address where you're going to point the domain. So from your DNS provider, you're going to point your domain to this IP address. Now, you can see we're verifying here, CentOS, that's the panel. And if you need to change the panel just in case you didn't install the right one, you can go into operating system and change the OS here. Be aware that if you do this, it's going to erase everything and it's going to install it again with the new system. So if you have websites and all that, it'll get cleared out. All right. So now to log into our OS system, let's grab this link right here and let's go to it. There we go. And let's log in with the root information that we have, the root, pa root password. Here we go. We're logging in. And this is the main panel for CentOS. Now, what would you do first? Well, let's first create a user. So let's go into user accounts. Let's create a new account because this is like the admin panel for CentOS. This is not where we're going to install the actual WordPress site if that's what you're going to install. So the domain name we're going to select here, for example, enter domain name without www. So in this case, we're going to use CentOSSASMaster.net. That's going to be the the link, the domain, and the username, we're going to name it Cento. Now let's name it SAS Master. We'll keep that password. Let me copy this. The We'll use that admin email, language English, the inotes. We'll keep all this clean. And let's go ahead and create the account. Oh, let's choose the package. Default one. Create. There we go. We're creating the new one. And the, the account details have been created. Let's close this and let's view list accounts. There we go. The account has been added. 
And the next thing they have to do is if you want to install WordPress, we're going to need an add-on from here. So this is also done here on the admin panel. We're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna go into script installers, script managers. And in this section, we are going to install Softaculous. In this case, it's already installed, but if it's not, install it. There we go. And another thing I would recommend, it's the PHP settings for the version. PHP version setting. By default, it's a lower one, 7 point something. But in this case, I would recommend something above 8.0. So just change that to be aware. Now, to log in to our user panel and not the admin panel, let's go ahead and log out. There we go. And to log in, I, I use this as a trick. I would use the username that I've just created and the admin password for this. Let's log in. Let's not save it. And it's going to ask us this, log in to a new user panel. So that's what I do. But in case you can't find it, by the way, go inside. No issues with that. Continue. But to do so, you can go into the link address right here and you can see that the link address changes a bit. It's 20.83. But you can use that little trick that I use. So again, let's add the the username and the password for the control panel of CentOS. So I've added, there we go, let's log in. And there we go. We've just logged in to the CentOS panel. So before we were on the admin panel and this is the user panel. This is where we're going to install our WordPress site. Now to do so, we're gonna go into domains, domains right here, section, let's go ahead and select it. Let's add a new domain. There we go, add a new domain. And the domain name for this, I've created centosinstall.sasmaster.net. It's a domain that I've just connected for testing purposes. It's a subdomain. And I'm gonna install the SSL for everything. Let's go ahead and save this. Now to point your DNS, we're gonna point it to the IP address from our BPS. Depending where you have your DNS controller, that's where you're going to do it. In my case, I have it installed on Cloudflare and this is where I've added it. So I've added the subdomain to this IP address, okay? So let's go back to the installation. There we go. The SSL is not ready yet, but we're gonna continue with this. Let's go into our domain really quickly just to see if it's loading. Let's go to it. There we go. But the installation is not ready yet. So it doesn't have a WordPress site yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into add-ons, scripts, and we're gonna install WordPress. There we go. And now we're gonna choose a domain that we've added. So in this one, it's CentOS install. The directory, it's gonna be the main one. Now, if you add a directory here, that means it's going to be like a subdomain. No, actually a folder. So it would be the domain slash WP. In this case, we wanna keep it clean because we wanna install it on the main domain. In this case, the subdomain. The site title, we'll just say um, new site, description, new site. The admin username, we'll say SAS master, password, email, language, the database, we're good with that. If you want to select a theme for this, um, I don't know, let's go ahead and select this. Skill scroll down and we're going to install. Okay, so this is the confirmation. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and continue and install. It's installing the WordPress site. Let's, so let's give it a few minutes. It's been successfully installed. There we go, it's refreshing. And let's go ahead and test our site. There we go, it just refreshed and now we have our WordPress site installed on CentOS. Now if you wanna log into your admin panel, just go ahead into the admin section of your website install, which is wp-admin by default. But basically that is how you're going to install your WordPress site on CentOS. Now if you want to do more with this, you can change the PHP version for this in the admin section of CentOS, like we have did on this video. So we change it to 8.0 and you can see right here it's reflected. So PHP version for the site is 8.0. If I want to change that, it would be done on the admin side. For email accounts, if you want to add email accounts, we do so here. DNS functions, if this is where your zone editor is. The add-ons for script, installed, site pro. A lot of things that you can do here, site settings and the dashboard. So we're gonna view an overview of the dashboard. So basically there's two sections to your CentOS. There's the admin section where we're going to create our user and add our domain. And then there's the CentOS user panel where we're going to install our WordPress site. So that's a way easier way to install a WordPress site on CentOS instead of doing it in terminal with commands. That's way more complex 
than just doing it here with the CentOS panel. But that is how you would do it with the Holsinger BPS plan installing the CentOS panel. Remember, don't forget to use a coupon code that's provided in the description so you can save with that additional coupon code that I will provide. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next videos.